what's up youtube so i'm gonna try to diagnose and treat my thailand giant so i did a lot of research and here my thailand giant's not looking too good i'm not sure what's going on um these parts seem like they're burnt but they're not crispy they feel like normal leaf tissue I, uh, it's been like this for maybe a week now uh this spot right here does feel like you can poke through it but it still feels like normal leaf tissue uh as you can see the, all the edges they look burnt and there's yellow going down into the the midrib i guess same thing is happening here the yellowness going down and here you can see some yellowness going down too so with the research that i did uh, there's a lot of possibilities. There's either a manganese deficiency, a potassium deficiency, calcium deficiency. Oh well, yeah, those three. Manganese, calcium, and potassium. So, I ordered some micronutrients that has manganese and calcium. <laughs> I also found out that Tarot plants, they don't like urea uh, or ammonium, which is the nitrogen that urea puts out. So nitrogen urea is actually bad for these things. Um, it'll make them grow, uh, deform the leaves, and the root structures just won't be that good. So what you want is nitrate. So I had ordered some calcium nitrate. It's not here yet, but I ordered calcium nitrate, which is what I'm going to be using as the nitrogen source. Um, because when you use ammonium, which is what, what urea, uh, releases, the leaves actually get smaller. So I'm going to switch over to calcium nitrate. And since I have a calcium deficiency, hopefully, uh, it won't have a calcium toxicity. So let's get, let's try it out. I'm going to put in these, I'm going to be using this from now on, the micro the microgenics and this is going to be a two-part video so with this part i'm probably not going to post it yet until i get the nitrogen the calcium nitrate so yeah these little burnt edges with the yellow going through is either potassium calcium or manganese deficiency so let's test that out okay so i mixed it up i put it right here and i already poured it in of course i record when there's a jet passing by let it pass over again i had already poured it on i couldn't pour uh, the full gallon or too much of it because the soil is already wet from this and this is potassium uh since i believe there's a potassium deficiency i also poured the potassium i poured almost half almost all of the gallon already uh, i did this yesterday so hopefully i can get rid of the rest of this and then use all of this into the soil and I believe I have to do this, I don't know, maybe every week. Every two weeks. So I'm gonna have to give it a gallon of micronutrients every two weeks. So yeah, um, I'll wait for the fertilizer, or not the fertilizer, the calcium nitrate to come in to also give it calcium nitrate instead of urea because calcium or nitrate is the preferred nitrogen for these plants. So yeah. Stay tuned. What is up? This is the second part of the video. It took maybe two days. Um, so as you guys remember, I have the potassium, the, uh, what is it? The microgenics, uh, which is the micronutrients, which uh, I'm more there for the, mag the manganese. Now I have the calcium nitrate. So because I'm, I believe these plants have a calcium deficiency, potassium deficiency and manganese deficiency 
I got calcium nitrate. And the nitrate is also going to help them with their green uh, foliage. Because taro plants, I did, I, say, I did a lot of research, they don't even like urea. They like nitrates. They like it when their soil has 100% nitrates or 75% nitrates and 25% urea. And I've been giving this plant urea, which apparently they don't like. So I'm going to give them some calcium nitrate. Here I measured just a little bit over a whole tablespoon. It's said to do one teaspoon per plant, but I just did a whole tablespoon plus a little bit more. So I'm going to pour some water in here because it did not say like per gallon or anything. So I'm going to just pour a little bit of water in here, mix it up really good and just dump it right onto the soil. So let me do that now. So here I have the calcium nitrate. I mixed it with the potassium water just because uh, I didn't want to open another gallon of distilled water because I have that for my carnivorous plants. So I have the nitrate water or calcium nitrate water and I'm going to just pour it around. And hopefully that does, hopefully that does some work. <laughs> I'm also thinking I'm gonna just pour the rest of this calcium water in here and then mix another, or mix some more calcium nitrate uh, into it. So everything's just mixed together. So yeah, I added calcium nitrate, uh, manganese, and potassium. So now let's see whether or not these this discoloration going uh, into the leaves changes As you can see this one's doing it a lot uh, so hopefully it changes soon so I'm gonna post this video maybe soon like I'm gonna post this video before we notice any changes so I'm gonna post it maybe later tonight but I'll keep you guys updated with another video uh, maybe after a new leaf pops out so thanks for watching like subscribe and Tell me any, give me tips uh, from your guys' uh, tarot growing experience. And I'll catch you later. Peace.